Some schools across western New York are changing their plans so that students are in the classroom five days a week. That's after the state changed the social distancing guidelines from six feet down to three feet. But some schools will still be remote, and so parents in the Williamsville Central District filed a lawsuit, and a hearing into that started this morning. Two on your side's Danielle Church has been following it. I spoke to the attorney representing those parents who says they ultimately filed the suit because their kids were suffering from not being in class five days a week. We have um, students uh, committing self-harm, students attacking their siblings, students, you know, falling apart in breakdowns and puddles of tears. That's just part of attorney Todd Aldinger's argument in the case about why students need to be back in class all week. The second component is based off a study out of Massachusetts. I think we have a strong case. I mean, you know, Paul Camber and I brought this case after the Oxford study came out, and it showed that there is really no statistical difference between three feet or six feet of social distancing. However, the Williamsville Central School District's attorney is arguing they must keep social distancing to six feet, which means there's not enough room to bring everyone back to the middle and high schools. He argued the district is forced to go off state guidelines. New York State changed the rules to three feet of social distancing in classrooms for areas where the transmission rate isn't high. The district argues the transmission rate is too high in Erie County to bring back everyone. Yet the district is bringing everyone from the elementary school back on Monday, something other Western New York districts plan to do as well. Now, I did reach out to the district, but they said they don't comment on litigation. A similar hearing will be held next Tuesday against the Orchard Park School District. The judge says he plans to make a decision on both lawsuits at the same time. In Buffalo, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.